What's going on, y'all? Tech me out here with another episode of the Tech T. If you're new to the channel, the Tech T series is just basically sitting down with another creator and having them experience a piece of tech for the first time. So today, I got my homie, A Mac. Yep, back again. Lex Max Photos. Long time no see. Team TMO. If you've been rocking from the beginning, I know it's been a while, but I'm back. So if you missed the last episode, I'm gonna link it up within the video so you can check it out as well as within the description box. But today we are focusing on the Oculus Quest. If you don't know what that is, it is VR. And Alexis here, if I'm not mistaken, has not experienced VR. Never. Actually, before we jump into that, give them like a really quick run through. Where can they find you on the web and doing what on the web? <laughs> but, um, you can find me on Instagram at Lex Mac Photos. I'm pretty sure she gonna drop that below, but y'all come find me, come holla at me. Now can you tell people what is your experience thus far with VR? Like, what do you know, what don't you know? Um, I've never tried it. Um, I, I've seen it obviously, uh, you know, walking in the mall, if you walk past like the Microsoft store, they got mm -hmm. the people doing the, the thing, it always looks trippy. <laughs> I ain't never did it, you know, I be scared I'm gonna fall, or, you know, <laughs> someone gonna jump out at me. I'm gonna let you see the little VR kit here. So, Alexis, mm -hmm. I've kind of already given the name of what this is, but this is the Oculus mm -hmm. Quest here. So, what are your thoughts in just holding it? Uh, it looked like something off Black Mirror, to be honest. Um, it looked like some Coke bottle glasses. Uh-huh. It feels, I mean, it feels like the real deal. Now, if you look at the front of this, do you know what these little circles are? Sensors? Mm-hmm. Yeah, boy! So, as she's basically pointed out there, these are built-in sensors. Now, when I say the term guardian mode, do you know what? that might mean when it's related to VR. Guardian mode. Yeah. I'm gonna say that sound like guardian angel. <laughs> so I'm thinking that they not gonna let me lose my life. Something like that. It's basically, like you're saying, it's gonna protect you, it's gonna guard you. But in relation to VR, it's gonna guard you against bumping into things around you. Right. So guardian mode is gonna let you pretty much map out the area of the room that you're gonna be playing in, which is advised to play within a room that's about six to nine feet with one foot between you and what you don't wanna run into. All right. Also, on the sides here, do you know what these little ports are, these little circular ports? Well, they look like three millimeter headphone cables, so I'm gonna say that's for audio. Perfect, yes. Those are your basically headphone jacks so you can listen to your gaming experience probably. And then down here, what do you think that button does? Uh, probably some sort of release. Release of volume. <laughs> so it's gonna bring the volume up or down. All right, I think I've done enough talking. I'm sure y'all wanna see, and I'm sure she wants to see, what is VR like? So at this time, we're gonna get her set up and then let her experience her first game. So here we go. Nervous? Uh, I'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what do you see now, Alexis? I am in like Montana or something. <laughs> I'm in like a really nice like cabin with some couches. Now I do want to note, y'all, um, you do have the option to cast what's being played up here. Let's do Creed or Lightsaber. Which one would you like to try first? I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the fight one joint. I'm Alright, Creed. Alright, let's hit Creed then. Oh, I got on virtual boxing gloves. <laughs> so what's going on now, Alexis? It's giving me like a tutorial. Keep hands still to recover from stamina. <laughs> I gotta fight him? Oh man. Alright, money Mayweather, let's go. Here we go. Oh. <clears throat> oh wait, hold X and A while swinging arms. Oh! <laughs> nah, bro. Let's keep this above the belt and inside the ring. Ready? The fight starts as soon as you touch blocks. 
Right there, it's cool. <laughs> Let's get you on Beat Saber. You'll like that one. All right. How to play. Cut in the arrow direction and match the color. Avoid obstacles with your head. Don't cut the bombs. Yes. It's funny because you managed to get closer to, <laughs> to the camera. <laughs> uh, what are your thoughts of the demo? That was cool. That was cool. Yeah, that's a that's um that's a workout though. It yeah. While you're in your VR experience, what do you think about VR? Um, it is too real for our time. <laughs> Why so? It's too immersive? This is very immersive. Uh -huh. It feels like you're right there in it. Um, uh, I mean, I almost died. <laughs> so, I mean, I feel like it on my own inside. Home to the three main sports activities in sports scramble. Bowling, tennis, bowling. So do you notice? He's giving me a tour right now. Okay. Training, challenge, and quick play mode. And did you notice, regardless of what direction you look, up, down, left, right, there's something. Yeah. So you're totally immersed. Yeah, I'm in like a whole nother world. Basics. And before you know it, you'll be racking up strikes like a pro. All right, let's get started. Now swing your arm underhand to bowl. Give it a try. Oh. This is like... If you don't want to go to like the bowling alley, but you feel like bowling, Three, this is very two, realistic. One. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. The sound is also like surround sound. Like it's, mm -hmm. it's like somebody's like with you talking. Nice. <laughs> you can also set your glove to auto catch oh, by it. changing your catching preference in the options menu. Use the grab button on your throwing hand to grab the ball from the glove. Good. <laughs> now release the grab button. Use a natural. Yo, I saw the Try. kick. Nice. One more time. <laughs> I saw the kick. Somebody wants to play for real, for real. I played softball. But so I'm not used to throwing overhand. I'm gonna see what happens if I throw underhand. Use a natural throwing motion. <laughs> yeah, that works. Okay, I think you've I'm got it. I'm tripping off of the kick. Throw for a real few though. more strikes. Oh, I missed it. Oh, there we go. We ain't playing. We did the wind up. So, what game are you playing now, Alexis? Epic roller coasters. Luckily, I like roller coasters, so. Oh, okay. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't like roller coasters. This is not real. <laughs> this is not real. It's not real. Oh, here come some raptors.
Let's go outside now. Like immersive, it can it can feel. Okay, there's a T Rex eating something. I think he sees me. I hear him stomping to you. Jurassic Park, don't move. Ugh. Oh. Oh, he's chasing me. This is definitely for like the immersive gamer. If you've ever wanted to know. <laughs> if you ever wanted to know uh, what it's like to be in your video games or to play like inside of your video games, that's it for sure. Yeah. All right, so this next game is called Acorn Attack of the Squirrels, and it's a multiplayer game in the sense that she can play a VR and I can play against her from my phone. Now, neither one of us have played this game, so this is about to be really interesting. It's about to be interesting. Oh, whoa. Yeah. My hands are like trees. Are you serious? Yeah, it's like, uh, I look like Groot. Whoa. <gasps> I can poke things. <laughs> The tree versus the squirrels. That's me. So I'm the tree and you're the squirrel. <laughs> this is probably so far the one that is most impressive. I mean, it's it's, it's really cool. <laughs> All I right. got big tree hands. I'm joining your room. This says waiting for oh, VR. Oh, I see you. Start. Oh my God, this oh, is so there cool. you are. There you are, it's little take me out. Oh my god. Oh god. Ooh. Woo! Got it! Oh shoot! Dang! Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go, here we go. Come at me, bro. I'm coming. Oh, oh you don't want that. Oh, 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 oh! Dang, you make me sick. All right, here we go, here we go. All right, I know it might be a little hard to tell what's going on, but on the left-hand side is, is Alexis's VR experience. Ah! And basically, she's operating as a tree, and she's trying to protect these little acorns at the base of her tree. And then my experience is right above our heads, and I'm a squirrel, and I'm trying to get to her tree to steal her acorns. Run, man, run! Run! I was so close! So the objective of the game is for the squirrel to get the acorns from the tree, and the tree to protect its acorns by using these little ball defenses and throwing it at the squirrels. Oh, shoot! <laughs> 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 Get out of my house! I got hit in the game, man, in real life. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see. No, no. <laughs> No, 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 dang, I was so freaking close. Tree wins. We're gonna try some other tactics. All right, so now Alexis has had quite a bit of time 
playing some VR, and mm -hmm. um, I'm really interested to hear what do you think about VR now that you've experienced it? Man, that's super real. <laughs> I mean, it's so immersive. It's it's almost like you forget where you are. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's truly interactive, truly interactive. I, that was wild. Yeah. Yeah. How did? What did you think about the the, the fit of the VR headset? Was it comfortable? Yeah, or? yeah, it's comfortable. And even though initially holding it, it felt like it had a little bit of weight to it. Mm -hmm. Once you put it on your head, it it kind of it kind of fades. Yeah. Do you feel like you could? Pay, do you feel like you could play it for an extended period of time? Oh yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, you look so okay. I feel like I could actually lay comfortably down and, and and watch the Netflix. So that's another thing. We did try to watch Netflix. I don't know if I was able to record the screen or not. But, um, super cool experience. Yeah, I was about to say, could you describe what that experience was mm -hmm. like? Yeah, yeah, so essentially, it puts you in another environment. So, you have a, a nice big red couch, obviously, a Netflix couch. You're in like a nice, cool, comfortable cabin. Uh, you got snow capped mountains to your left. And then you have what would be in real life probably a 70 or 80 inch screen in front of you. So, after playing a few of the games, what would you say was your most favorite game mm -hmm. and your least favorite game, and why? Mm -hmm. Uh, most favorite game was probably Acorns, mainly because you can play with your friends wherever they are. They just download the app, mm -hmm. they join the room, and you essentially can go head to head with your friends, up to eight other friends, uh, anywhere in the world, and it's uh, it's super cool. Um, I could see us playing that yes. off uh, not making this video. So, Basically. Uh, least that. favorite game? Yeah. <laughs> the least favorite game, what was it? Creed, and why? I, I felt, I felt, I felt victimized. I, I felt attacked. Is it was too, it, too immersive. Yeah, it was, it was, it was too immersive. I mean, you've got this, this big boxer guy, and he's like going for your, going for your neck. He going for your face. He going for, he going for the, the TKO. So. He said he want all the smoke. He want all the smoke. I, <laughs> nah. Candy yeah, why not? Nah. Okay, so with Guardian mode, after you experienced that, yeah. how safe did you feel? Like, did you feel like? It was protecting. Um, I think guardian mode is a must have, but I think that when you think about safety, playing alone, thinking about all the different hazards in your house, it seems so much more magnified uh, when you're not, when you're immersed in another world, honestly. Good job, uh, <laughs> Oculus. That is, uh, that's an amazing call there because, uh, yeah, somebody could honestly get really hurt. So those hand straps played a lot. Guardian mode is, is a must have, especially if uh, you're, if kids are playing. Yeah, I, d I definitely feel you on that. Like that's one thing I really liked about the Oculus when I did play it, because it's like, I felt protected. Especially mm -hmm. if you're in here alone, or even if you're in here with somebody else, sometimes they get distracted. I know I got distracted a little mm -hmm. bit. So it's like, um, it just ensures that you're not gonna bump into something. And it yeah. allowed you, did you notice how it allowed you to see like your environment when you mm -hmm. did approach the boundary yeah. area? So yeah, it's pretty cool. Was there anything you feel that could have been done to make the experience better or mm. you know. I would love to see this in 4k 4k so better resolution yeah absolutely okay okay I could feel that I could especially feel that. if I want to watch a movie true that so with all of what you experienced and all of what you know now one, do you feel better educated about VR? Oh, absolutely. Okay, cool, absolutely. cool, cool. And is this something that you would recommend to others? Honestly, I think that um, if you know anybody who's a gamer, if you know mm -hmm. anybody who wants to be immersed in that game, if you want some family fun, or if you just want to try something new, I recommend it to everybody. You know, we're getting to that time of the year. Honestly, I could okay. see that being a great thing under the tree. Speaking of, would you get it for yourself? Um, I hope my friend gets it for me. <laughs> for myself. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. What would you guess it goes for? Hmm. What would your estimation be? Maybe $2.99? It actually goes for $3.99. Boy, if you don't... <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know some of the things that makes it unique to kind of maybe... Yeah. Justify. So with this particular VR headset, with most VR headsets, it requires an additional accessory, whether that be your computer mm -hmm. so that you can, you know, connect. It requires wires or it requires like your phone. So instead of using any other accessories, everything is wireless, which makes this really easy to transport. You know, if you're traveling somewhere, once you get where you're going, you, holidays, like you said, are coming up. Great gift for the family to play. And you can cast what's on your VR headset to the TV using a Google Chromecast so that then everybody can see what you're playing. So it's basically the, the advantages are just the, the versatility and the transportation or the, the, the easy transport, so to speak. And then the quality as well. You got the That's Guardian mode. That's all you mode. need to, to get going anywhere, then mm -hmm. hey. Yeah, that's ultimately the uh, 
the Oculus Quest. So uh, that's quite the quest. Yeah, definitely a journey today. <laughs> So I definitely appreciate your time as well sure. and you coming through and sure. actually experiencing it for the first time. Absolutely. You're gonna be playing acorns. Definitely. Bet on that. <laughs> Either one you're playing squirrel or tree was fun. I think I think B Sable was my favorite game until I played Acorns. Now they're kinda neck and neck. I don't know which one I like the most, but I, I feel you on the multiplayer aspect of Acorns. Till the next episode, let me know down below what do you wanna see next on the tech tee and who do you wanna see next? Feel free to, oops, sorry, I want you. <laughs> Until that next video, you wanna hit him with the outro. Thank you for taking the time out to let me tech you out. Mmm, 10 on that outro, perfect. <laughs>